Hey guys, we have a quick video today. I'm not gonna do any cooking. I'm cooking all, the, I'm prepping all this tonight for a big cook tomorrow. But today, I just wanna answer one question really quick, and that is, what is the difference between baby back ribs and spare ribs? And if you were to ask a pig that, he would say, there is no difference, dummy. And why would he say that? Well, that's because there isn't a baby back rib and a cage and then a spare rib cage. And, and one of the other things I read is that baby back ribs <laughs> come from baby pigs. That's, that's not the case. <laughs> Baby back ribs and spare ribs all come from the same pig from the rib cage. The difference is the baby back ribs are where the rib cage attaches to the spine at the top part of the back around the loin area and then the ribs curve around and then the butcher will run a bandsaw between those so anything below that all the way to the sternum is considered spare ribs and anything above that line is considered baby back ribs so they really are the same ribs they're just cut in half and one the top half is the baby back ribs and the bottom half is the spare ribs it doesn't mean they taste the same i just want to make that point that there's there's not a spare rib cage and then a baby back rib cage okay so what does that mean to us as backyard cooks well baby back ribs are tend to be smaller and then more curved like i said they they come from that top part of the rib cage so they tend to be smaller more curved and they also tend to be um, they can be leaner they can be more tender and they're often a lot more expensive i mean every restaurant that serves ribs serves baby back ribs unless it's a barbecue restaurant so i mean you know that jingle chilies baby back ribs that that when you hear that, just think my price of my ribs went up because of that song. So keep that in mind. It's really just a supply and demand thing. Now, over time, when I started, baby back ribs were about two to three dollars a pound, and um, and St. Louis ribs or untrimmed spare ribs at least would sometimes go on sale for a dollar a pound. Um, that's no longer the case now. Untrimmed spare ribs are usually between two and two fifty a pound. And and really, at the end of the day. Baby back ribs are still more expensive, but the price of spare ribs has come up. Since you pay, you do pay by the pound, but you buy by the rack. It, whether here in North Texas, whether you get baby back ribs, St. Louis style spare ribs or untrimmed spare ribs, it's gonna cost you about 10 to $12 a rack, um, regardless of which one you get. So just keep that in mind, just kind of as a, you know, a price comparison. Um, it's not like this, you know, the spare ribs used to be super cheap and these, these were super expensive. It's just not the case anymore. Yes, these tend to cook faster. Now, another difference between baby back ribs and spare ribs is spare ribs, to those of us that cook a lot of ribs, they actually tend to look better you can trim these up to make them look really really nice on a grill and at the end of the day that will look really really nice on a plate this is why uh, in addition to the fact that these ribs tend to be more meaty they tend to be more fatty and more flavorful also they tend to be more pretty the, those of us that spend way too much time caring about this stuff we want to at the end of the day have a great end product to give to our guests or our families so that is why a lot of us not all of us a lot of us tend to gravitate here even though these are more tender uh the reason why i switched over was i was getting a lot because i my first three years all i cooked was baby back ribs what forced me to switch over to to spare ribs was the fact that I was getting a lot of these, a lot of the baby back ribs started getting too lean and they were drying out and I was having to cover that up with sauce just to kind of get that, that moist mouth feel in, you know, in the back into the ribs. And I, I didn't like that. So I switched over to spare ribs and just, I just haven't gone back, even though my name's Baby Back Maniac. And I do love them. They're really, really good. But if I have the option, I'm gonna get these. Now, if these are spare ribs, slide this over. And what the heck are these? I mentioned these earlier. These are untrimmed spare ribs. So the way people talk about these, sometimes they call these spare rib slabs. Sometimes they call these untrimmed spare ribs. Um, sometimes these are called St. Louis style cut. And sometimes these are called trimmed spare ribs. If I walked over to Troy's house with either of these and I said, hey, I'm bringing spare ribs. He's not gonna look at either one of these and go, you said you were bringing spare ribs and those are untrimmed spare ribs. Or you said these are, they're the same. And you can kind of see this um, I'll just talk about the difference here. Untrimmed spare ribs, as the name implies, they have not been trimmed up of, um, like if these were, these kind of match. You can see these are from opposite sides. Um, this skirt has been trimmed off. These, this area over is a bunch of cartilage and, and it's called riblets or rib tips. It's some of the best meat 
on the ribs, but a lot of times people don't tend to cook them because um, it, it, there's, again, because there's a lot of cartilage in it, that can freak some people out. Boy, the meat's so good though. Um, we usually like, what we'll do is we'll cut this off and then I'll use this for soups or something like that. I mean, there's no reason to waste this. And you can absolutely cook these spare rib untrimmed just like this. It's just a little more work to carve them at the table. Um, but anyways, that option's there. But anyways, back to this. Spare uh, St. Louis style spare ribs are untrimmed spare ribs with this flap of meat right here called the skirt removed. The rib tips cut off. And then at the end of all this, um, sometimes there is a, uh, which these don't have, sometimes there's a, uh, the sternum is attached right here, but it looks like this was, this was already removed. Uh, nowadays, it used to be, you kind of had to buy these. And then if you wanted St. Louis style ribs, you would uh, trim them down yourself. Nowadays, you can find these anywhere around here. And it's really, really nice. This is usually what I buy. I often you'll still need to do some trimming anyways, but um, it's nice to have St. Louis style spare ribs available for you without having to go to the trouble of doing this. But it's not hard to do, it's fun to do, and, and I enjoy it. So that is the basic difference between untrimmed spare ribs, trimmed St. Louis style spare ribs, and then baby back ribs, which as we said, are it's all the same thing. It's all one rack of ribs. At the end of the day, they just, uh, there's just different ways to eat a pig. <laughs> I can't wait to cook these tomorrow. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. If you guys have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comments below. Um, there are other people who have done similar videos in the past on YouTube. I'm gonna put a link to the ones that I found. All of them are great videos, but all of them had kind of a slightly different take on how they presented the information. But I want to go ahead and, and refer you to them if you'd like more information or uh, you know just to learn more about this. So I will put those in uh, the description box or either in a pinned comment below. Check that out and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. That line is considered baby back ribs. So they really are the same ribs. They're just cut in half and one, the top half is the baby back ribs. And the